Once again, I was left disappointed with the World Schools Festival and maybe you should be too. It's very clear that South African school teams cannot bring their full strength squads from that year because they have officially left school, which is no surprise given that the festival takes place in the middle of December. Let's look at Ilha Janssen, a team who last year lost to Kuzni College and Westville Boys High School ranked 27th and 35th respectively in South Africa, but a team who also managed to upset monuments in their first victory over them since 2015, so a bit of a mixed year which saw them ranked 15th in the country, a bit generous in my view. So I took the Ilha Janssen team list from the epic upset over monuments and compared it to their team list at the World's Schools Festival and only 11 of the 22 players from that team against Monument are present in the 26 players on the team list at the World Schools Festival, five of which were on the bench that day. So essentially missing nine starters. Compare that to Westlake Boys High who were only missing two of the 22 that contested the New Zealand National Schools final in the World Schools Festival final. And just for further reference, Oakdale, another South African school present at the festival, had only six of the 22 players that took to the field against Bula and Lanbo earlier last year on the team list at the World Schools Festival. So the point is this, while it's great that schools from different countries can play each other, it's clear that South African schools aren't able to bring their full strength squads while New Zealand schools are. Is that the New Zealand schools problem? No. But there is a problem if this festival wants to showcase the best versus the best. Westlake beat a half strength Ierhea Janssen team by 9 points. Westlake were ranked 2nd in New Zealand. Ierhea Janssen's full strength team was ranked 15th in South Africa, which even then I felt generous given their 12 point loss to Westville Boys High School ranked 35th in South Africa and their 5 point loss to Kersney College ranked 27th. I don't know if we'll ever have a festival or tournament organised that manages to accommodate everyone, but having a festival a week or two out from Christmas feels a bit silly, and maybe the organisers need to rethink this if they wish for the results to be taken seriously. But for South African schools, at least it serves as a good preparation for the coming season and the chance for selectors to see their upcoming talent.